Hi. Quinn, if you're seeing this, I'm sorry. I get that you wouldn't want to have any more contact with me after what you suspect I have done. I can fully understand that it's Nance. Sorry if I'm a bit quick on my feet right now and walking the dog. Um, this video is intended to talk about what have happened. Now, first of all, I want to say that no matter how this turns out, I'm still going to view you guys as very great people. I'm still going to work on the wiki, and I'm going to make my model, and all that stuff. That won't be changing just because of this mess up. But I want to address it because it's something that I feel have kind of blown out of proportion in a time that is completely insane and just shows what today's world looks like. Because in the span of one night, I seem to have lost quite a few friend connections and just a snap of a finger that it feels and it's very sad now I don't blame you all for you know kicking me out of the crew banning me from the server uh, I'm a bit less you know understanding of that I can get it but ban me from the server because of a Wattpad story uh, but I, from the crew yeah people finding me in a roleplay and then you no know, uh, searching me up could find that I can get that um, but the thing that really makes me annoyed is not the argument it's fully valid that story was complete utter garbage the thing is how I got to know what story it was because the first message I got after getting banned well, before getting banned and then the ban, which for me happened in one stroke. I think I was watching some video and then I came back to Discord and found that. Um, was, you have been acting inappropriate. Sorry, I can't forgive that. And at first I was like, wait, did I say something in some public chat? Uh, or in cruise? I don't know. Um, and to me, I was like, okay. Well, fair enough. So I contact Quinn and ask, uh, hey, I've been acting, apparently been acting inappropriate. Where did I go wrong? I would hate to have this go looming over me again. Uh, because last time I was, and it was, you know, it was over my head and it really bothered me. Uh, because I, I don't want to lose that community, but you know, fair enough. Uh, and then I got to know is a collection of fanfics. I'm like, okay, is it the Miyuki? Because it can't be the No EX Yuki. That story is still up. Uh, I've taken down basically all the not safe for work stories from the um, from the Wattpad st short collection, but not that one because it's freaking adorable. Um, so I tried to contact Emma and ask her like, hey, apparently there's a story, can you forward this to Quinn? And it's like, my apology for what's going on, but I was still unsure what the heck it was I had done. Uh, I, I knew it was one of my stories, uh, and the only time I posted not safe for work stories was on my webpad. Or in DMs, because you know I didn't want it to be affecting the server. Um, and then I just get a cold answer, nope. Uh, and that really stung. But in hindsight, I can understand, yeah. But here comes the thing. I finally got to know what story it was because of another server where someone was considering banning me because of the story, which I had never even posted there. 
via that discussion, via that one-to-one -one discussion with the admin of that server, I understood at last which story it was. And that was Mitch's dance. Which is a complete piece of garbage. A bit of first admit. That story is indulging in some pretty messed up shit. But I do not know that from the start. I the first message I got was you've been acting inappropriate. And acting inappropriate, at least in my view, that's something to do. Hey Dougie, Dougie. He's tangling himself up. Dougie! Good Dougie. Goodbye. Um something about how I talk or something. And to me it's it's really sad because I wish we could have a one-to-one -one discussion and talk it out. I am fully capable to hold a one-to-one -one dialogue regarding my mistakes. I'm open to that. But when I don't get a chance to tell my side of the story, it, it kind of feels like, you know, you think I can't take that. I don't think that you, Key, Quinn, or anyone on the server thinks like that I can't hold such a discussion. I really hope no one does because I am willing to take criticism. Um, but there was no dialogue regarding this. It was banned and I was confused. And then I get to know by another server's admin talking about it. And to me that's just... What? Should it really be that way? Anyway. On track to what the story was. I get it now. You guys thought I wrote rape. In my opinion, I never intended to write rape. It was intended as a drunken state of euphoria. But I can fully get that it, it looks like rape. And then comes the argument that, ah, that I would have been glorifying it. But in my opinion, I wrote that story just as indulging as with Splatterfest or you know, sadistic Dr. Quinn. Maybe it's the phrasings, the way people talk to the characters. I don't know. But I get that the story is very, very disgusting. I wrote it on a request. I can see in hindsight I shouldn't have taken that request. I should have stopped after the first part. But I'm a guy that sees things through. For better or for worse, in this case, definitely for the worst. I cried over this thing, my stupid mistake. I don't have any quarrels with you guys. Uh, apart from the fact that I wish there could have been a proper dialogue. Where I could have presented my side um, of the story. So we could have a proper, like, figuring out, at least, you know, understand each other before we part. I can understand if you don't want to let me back into the crew. I wish at least I could, you know, come back to the server and at least say goodbye to the people, let them know, hey, I messed up, I have to go see ya. I'll probably not come back to the server for a while anyway because I've got schoolwork to catch up on. But we just really hope that we can, like, have some form of dialogue, talk things out understand each other and at least that you can come to understand that I did not intend to glorify anything I did not in Mitch's dance intend to glorify the acts preceded in it any more than I than I glorify no uh, uh, sedicted Dr. Quinn ripping up the chest of someone but yeah that's all for me I hope we can come to an understanding. I'll probably be sending this to you. And I'm sorry for the mistake. I'm sorry for keeping that story up. But it's simply what happened.
It's a real hope that my birthday present from you guys won't be to see me as some sicko who writes rape for his own self-satisfaction. Because that's not who I am. So I hope you all can understand that aspect. Good luck with any projects. It was a fun time while it lasted.